next example of kernel of t and range of t find basis and dimension of kernel of t and range of t that is uh, kernel of t and rt if t is function from r uh, 5 to r raise to 4 define as t of x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 this is five tuple that is the domain is r5 and what is the its images image x1 plus 4 x2 plus 5 x3 plus 9 x5 comma 3 x1 minus 2 x2 plus x3 minus x5 comma minus x1 minus x3 minus x5 comma 2 x1 3 x2 plus 5 x3 plus x4 plus 8 x5 and this is 4 tuple this is the uh, 4 tuple and so it is the element of r is to 4 so this is the function from r is to 5 to r is to 4 and then now we write uh, the uh, linear transformation in the form of matrix the definition of linear transformation so t x1 y1 uh, x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 as a column matrix it's equal to uh, write this as a uh, first column x1 plus 4 x2 plus 5 x3 plus 9 x5 the second uh, component as second column third component as third column uh, third row not column and the fourth column as a as a, a fourth row okay so write uh, the matrix uh, in the matrix form this is linear transformation in matrix form in order to find the uh, standard matrix so write this as a, a square vision matrix a and this is the x capital x what is x this is x1 x2 x3 x5 so right here x1 x2 x3 x5 and then coefficient of x1 in the first row is r what x1 is 1 x2 is 4 x3 x2 x3 is 5 x there is no x4 term so its coefficient is 0 x5 is 9 similarly 3 minus 2 that is uh, 1 then a in, uh, x4 coefficient is 0 and x5 minus 1 then minus 1 0 the coefficient of x2 is 0 x3 is minus 1 x4 is 0 and x5 is minus 1 <coughs> then coefficient of x1 x2 x3 x4 2 3 5 1 8 and so this uh, linear transformation expressed in the form tx is equal to ax and what is a a is this matrix and is called standard matrix for t okay or the this is the multiplication by a the linear transformation t is multiplication by a and now we have to find the uh, uh, range uh, dimension and basis of kernel of t and range of t and we know that the kernel of t is the null space of the matrix a and the null space of the matrix a is the solution space of the system a x is equal to zero now in order to find kernel of t you have to find the solution space of system a x is equal to zero and so consider the system a x is equal to zero so a right a x size x1 x2 x3 x5 is equal to zero 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 this is the column matrix of order uh, containing four rows and then uh, multiply uh, these two matrices we have x1 plus 4x2 plus 5x3 uh, plus 9x5 is equal to uh, then second row is this um, 3x1 minus 2x2 plus x3 minus x5 then third row apply the third row on first column then third row on this column we have this and is equal to 0 0 0 and then compare the LHS and RHS we have this system so again we have the same element this is equal to 0 this is equal to 0 this is equal to 0 and this is equal to 0 so we have this uh, same equations is equal to zero and where to solve this system where to solve this system so uh, where to solve this system by using uh, gauss elimination method so uh, uh, form the augmented matrix so the matrix of coefficient that is a matrix and the matrix of constant is zero 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 okay and then we have to reduce this matrix to echelon form or row echelon form so in order to that we have to reduce this element to 1 but it is 1 so can reduce this 3 element to 0 so operation are r2 minus 3 r1 r3 plus r1 and r4 minus 2 r1 so by using this one we have to reduce this 3 element to 0 so after uh, this 3 operation we have this matrix okay so here we have minus 14 minus 14 minus 28 4 4 8 minus 5 minus 5 minus 10 here is 1 1 okay zero and one as as it is one you write one and then uh, the operation is minus one by 14 r2 
we have to reduce this element to one so we have this as the second row the remaining rows are as it is then we have to reduce this uh, 4 and minus 5 to 0 so operation is r3 minus 4 r2 and r5 plus 5 r2 so we have the first row second row as it is the third row is 0 0 0 and this one is as it is 2 0 0 now we have to reduce uh, we have to reduce this element to 1 this element to 1 but it is not 1 so this row is 0 so we alter this to three third row and fourth row interchange the third row and fourth row so r3 4 and so we have one in this first row as it is second row as it is and uh, last row become third row and this is an echelon form this is an row echelon form or say echelon form and so uh, rewrite the equation now rewrite the equation so first equation is x1 plus 4x2 plus 5x3 plus 9x5 is equal to 0 the next the second equation x2 uh, plus x3 plus 2x5 is equal to 0 and the last equation x4 is equal to 0 and so here we have there are three equations in this system there are three equations and five unknowns unknowns are x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and so assign three five minus three that is equal to two unknowns so we assign x we have already x4 as zero so uh, we assign the remaining unknowns so we assign x3 and x5 suppose x3 is t and x5 is s so assign two unknown so what are that either x1 x2 x1 x2 x3 or x5 so we assign x3 and x2 x2 x3 and x5 out of these three we have to assign two so we assign x3 as t and x5 as s so r, where t and s are any element of s, r and therefore x2 is equal to minus x3 minus 2 x5 that is minus t minus 2 s and x1 is from this equation number one one implies x1 is equal to minus 4x2 minus 5x3 minus 9x5 substitute the value of x2 x3, x5 we have x1 as minus t minus s and therefore the solution in the matrix for x1 x2 x3 x5 solution of the system so x1 is minus t minus s x2 is minus t minus 2s x3 is t x4 is 0 from this equation x4 is 0 and x5 is s and then we can write this as in the addition of these two uh, column matrix t uh, minus 1 minus 1 1 0 0 and then coefficient of es are what minus 1 minus 2 0 0 1 and therefore the basis for solution space of the system ax is equal to 0 actually we have to write uh, the ba basis for kernel of t but basis of for solution space of the system ax is equal to 0 is the basis for null space of a and is the basis for kernel of uh, t uh, and e is equal to the set contains two elements minus one minus one one zero zero that is this as write this as a first vector and this as the second vector minus one minus two zero zero one so this this is the basis for kernel of t actually this is the basis for uh, solution space of the system and uh, it is a basis for kernel of t and therefore dimension of kernel of t this set contains two vectors and therefore dimension of kernel of t is 2 and therefore nullity of t is 2 because the dimension of kernel of t is equal to nullity of the t and then this set basis for kernel of t contains two vectors and therefore nullity of t is 2 now we have to find the range of t range of t is what is rt denoted by rt and it is column space of k so how we can find the basis and dimension of column space of a we have to reduce the matrix a to reduce row echelon form so consider the matrix a a is this matrix okay consider this matrix a and where to reduce the matrix to reduce row echelon form first we reduce the matrix to row echelon form by using the previous uh, part we have directly right here after the uh, by previous part we have the echelon form of this matrix as this matrix uh, this is the row echelon form. Now we have to reduce this matrix to reduce row echelon form in order to find the basis for column space of t. And how we can write, uh, how we can reduce the matrix row uh, row echelon form to reduce row echelon form? So uh, the elements, the columns that contains leading one, we have to reduce the remaining element of uh, that columns are equal to zero. So if you observe the first column, 
there are the three columns this first column second column and fourth column these three columns contains leading one so the remaining element of the first column are zero except the one all remaining are zero so in the fourth column also this is leading one and the remaining element are zero but in the second column this is one but the remaining element are not equal to zero this is not equal to zero so where to reduce this four to zero so the operation is r1 minus 4 r2 and then we have the uh, element uh, zero at this place but then uh, r1 minus 4 r2 so 5 minus 4 is 1 then 0 0 as it is 9 minus 8 is 1 so uh, after this calculation we have the reduced row at column 4 so the column number 1 and 3 uh, 2 and uh, 4 these three three columns contains leading ones and therefore these three columns form the basis for this matrix uh, for the uh, form the basis for uh, column space of this matrix okay but we have to write the col uh, basis for column space of the matrix a so corresponding columns columns one two four contains leading ones okay and so corresponding columns number one two four in a form the basis for column space of a this is uh, this sentence is to is uh, to understand how we can write the basis for column space of a so how we can write uh, basis for column space of a is the set of the uh, vectors uh, uh, of the columns first column as a first vector 1 3 minus 1 2 the second column as the second vector and the fourth column of the a as the the fourth column of a so what is what are what is the fourth column 0 0 0 1 this is not the fourth column this is first second and we have to write the fourth column this is not fourth column actually 0 0 1 so correction is at this place write this element as 0 0 1 don't write this element 1 uh, 2 and fourth column fourth column is not this 0 0 0 1 so right here correction is here 0 0 1 and therefore, this is the basis for column space of A. So, how you can obtain the basis for column space of A? Reduce the matrix A to reduce row echelon form. Note the columns that contains leading ones and the corresponding columns in A forms the basis for column space of A. So, basis for column space of A is the set uh, of vectors, three vectors, the first column as first vector, the second column as second vector and the fourth column. So, right here, 0, 0 0 1 instead of this element and so again basis for kernel of p this is the basis for column space of a and the basis for because the column space of a and range of t that is rt both are same and so basis for rt or range of t is what right the same basis as a, as the basis of rt that is that right uh, this first element second element and correction is here 0 0 0 1 okay and the, this set contains this basis contains three vectors and so dimension of rp is three and therefore rank of t is three because uh, the dimension of rp is called rank of t and so rank of t is three so the question is what find the basis and dimension of uh, kernel of t and range of t and also the question is what find rank t and nullity t so we have to find if the rank of t nullity of t then we have to find the basis for column space and uh, uh, basis for uh, system uh, solution space system ax is equal to zero okay so we can uh, find the ra uh, rank of t or basis for rt in a different way so rt is what column space of a and is equal to row space of a transpose that is row space of a transpose is equal to column space of a so how can write a transpose we can write uh, obtain a transpose as write first row as a first column that is interchange rows and column then write second row as a second column second column and then write third row of a as a third column and then write last row as a fourth column two three five one eight two three four two three five one eight that is write first row as first column second row as second column third row as third column and the fourth row of the matrix a as a fourth column of a transpose so this is a transpose we interchange the rows and column so we have this is a, uh, a transpose 
and now we have to find the row space of a transpose so this is the matrix and we have to find its row space and how we can find the row space or basis for row space yeah reduce this matrix to echelon form row echelon form or echelon form so first reduce this matrix to echelon form so it, it is one so we have to reduce this three element to zero four five and nine so these are the operation r2 minus 4 r1 r3 minus 5 r1 and r5 minus 9 r1 we have this matrix then we have to reduce this minus 14 to 1 so 1 minus 1 by 14 r2 is the operation we have one here we have minus 4 by 40 5 by 40 okay and the remaining rows as it is now we have to reduce this minus 14 and minus 28 to 0 so operation is r3 minus, uh, plus 14 r2 and r5 plus 28 r2 so by using this operation we have this matrix 0 0 1 is the second row third row at 0 0 0 row fourth row 0 0 1 0 0 0 okay and then interchange the uh, third row and fourth row we have this is an row echelon form of this matrix a transpose and therefore basis for row space of a transpose what is the basis for row space of any matrix is the set of non-zero rows in its echelon form so write the first non-zero row as a first vector comma the second non-zero row as the second vector and the third non-zero row as the third vector zero zero one so there are three non-zero rows so form the three uh, form the three vectors of this basis as a these three non-zero rows and this is the basis for row space of a transpose and row space of a transpose is column space of a and therefore basis for column space of a is what right these what uh, vectors as a column vector so 1 3 minus 1 1 uh, 2 0 1 minus 2 by 7 5 by 40 this uh, minus 4 by 14 means uh, minus 2 by 7 after calculation and 0 0 0 1 so this is basis for rp so this uh, echelon form uh, this echelon form of any matrix is depend is different answer we have the different answer uh, this is not unique this reduced row echelon form is not unique or row echelon form is not unique and therefore the elements in a basis for column space or row space are not unique but the number of elements uh, in this set are three and therefore this answer is unique that is the number of elements in the rt basis of rt is three this answer is unique this answer is not different that is everyone has the three vectors in basis of rt everyone has the three vectors in basis of rt but these vectors may be different other than this okay so it's depend on your calculation similarly here this is the basis for uh, row space of a transpose and this is the uh, row echelon form this echelon form is not uh, uh, it is not unique this answer is not unique it's depend on your calculation but the number of elements in the basis of row space of a transpose is three and this answer is unique that is everyone has the three vectors in in the basis of row space of a transpose and the basis row space of a transpose is nothing but the column space of a and therefore basis for column space of a is what but just write these vectors as a column vectors okay so this is the basis for rt because this is column space of A and RT both are same. And so this is the basis for RT. This set is the basis for RT. And therefore, dimension of kernel of T, uh, dimension of range of T is 3. Because this set contains three, uh, 3 elements. And therefore, rank of T is 3. So we can find rank of T by using either this procedure. That is, reduce the matrix A to echelon, reduce the echelon form. Uh, 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 then... Uh, note the columns that contains leading one and the corresponding columns in in a form the basis for column space of a write a transpose and then find the uh, basis for row uh, space of a transpose and it is a basis for column space of a okay and that is the basis for kernel of t so we will find the basis for kernel of t uh, basis for range of t in two different methods so either use this method or use this method okay so these are some problems for homework find a standard matrix for t and hence use it to find rank and nullity of t that is first right this example is already 
this this is the answer of this example number 2 b answer of b is this okay so i have to write uh, we have to solve this equation uh, problem number 1 first so t is from x y z w instead of x1 x2 x3 x4 that is the notation x x y z w that is uh, this is uh, r square this is the element of r is to 4 x y z w is a uh, element of r is to 4 and so domain of r t is r is to 4 to x uh, this x minus 2y plus z uh, plus 3w comma 2x plus y plus 4w comma this minus x minus 3y plus z minus w comma 3x plus 3y plus z plus 7w and this is four tuple the image is four tuple and so t is function from r s to 4 to r s to 4 okay so we have to find the uh, uh, its uh, standard matrix so apply this procedure to obtain the standard matrix write the uh, definition of a uh, formula of uh, that uh, linear transformation in the form of uh, uh, matrix then write a uh, and then th that is the standard matrix and then find the basis and dimension of kernel of t and range of t we have the rank of t and nullity of t so find rank and nullity of t so first write the uh, find the standard matrix uh, of uh, 40 and then Uh, find the rank and nullity. That is, find the basis for range of t and basis for kernel of t by using the previous procedure. Okay. So the answer is given. This is the standard matrix, and the rank of t is three, and nullity of t is one. So if you observe the rank, uh, uh, the in the previous and that is example number two. This is from R five to R four. This is the example, and so the, this is the standard matrix. And so rank of a t is three and nullity of uh, uh, nullity of the linear transformation t is two. And if you observe rank plus nullity is equal to for the matrix rank plus nullity is equal to what is the uh, what is the what is the theorem for uh, rank nullity theorem for matrix the rank of t plus uh, rank of a plus nullity of a is equal to number of columns in that matrix. And so How many columns in this matrix? Yeah, standard matrix. There are uh, one, two, three, four columns, and this this is depend on what? This this is depend on uh, if the, this is the matrix. This is the linear transformation from R four to R four. This is R five to R four. This second linear transformation is from R five to R four. And so, how many columns in this matrix? Standard matrix of uh, linear transformation T one, two, three, four, five. so the number of columns depend on the uh, what is the domain so in this uh, second problem domain is r5 and its dimension is 5 and so the rank nullity theorem for linear transformation is what uh, rank of t plus nullity of t is equal to dimension of dimension of domain so in the first problem dimension is 4 because t is linear transformation from r is to 4 To R is to four. Domain is R is to four, and in the second problem, domain is R is to five. Is the domain of the linear transformation? This is function from R is to five to R is to four. So domain is R is to five, and so the rank of t plus nullity of t is equal to five. The domain, the the dimension of domain is five. So this is rank nullity theorem. So same example, find. Uh, rank and nullity of this linear transformation t i can write the uh, uh, matrix in the linear transformation this uh, this transformation in the matrix form then find the standard matrix and then uh, find the rank and nullity of the linear transformation t similarly find basis and dimension of kernel of t and range of t so what is the kernel of t and what is the range of t we know that first write the find the standard matrix and then find the basis and dimension of kernel of t and range of t similarly here the example let t from r3 to r square be linear transformation such that t of 1 0 0 t of 0 1 0 and t of 0 0 1 is given compute uh, t of 4 minus 1 1 and determine the nullity and rank of t so in order to obtain the nullity and rank we have to find the formula for linear transformation so we have to find the formula for linear transformation means what is t x y z and for that we express x y z as a linear combination of these three vectors 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0
zero one zero and zero zero zero. So write x y z is equal to sir. Suppose x y z belongs to R three B any element. Then x y z is what? A one zero x one zero zero plus b uh, y zero zero one zero plus z zero zero one. And then apply t on both sides. T of x y z is equal to x t one zero zero plus y t zero one zero plus z t zero zero one. And then we uh, write uh, t of one zero zero as zero zero, t of zero one one one, and t of zero zero one as one minus one. And then it is uh, after uh, applying the definition of scalar multiplication and addition, we have b plus c comma b minus c. Obviously, this is the element of R square. And so t x y z is what y plus z comma y minus z. We have uh, by replacing x a b c as x y z, we have the formula t x y z is y plus z. Y comma y minus z, and so write this as t x y z is equal to a uh, square uh, a x a x x y z. But what is a? A zero one one zero one minus one, and then find the rank of a uh, rank of uh, t and nullity of t as a uh, dimension of base uh, of uh, nullity uh, means dimension of kernel of t and dimension of range of t. So from the matrix A, find the basis and Dimension of uh, range of t and kernel of t. So uh, by previous method, and then we have the answer is the rank of t is two, and nullity of t is one. Nullity of t is one because uh, there are three columns, and so rank of t is two, nullity of t is one. Their addition is three. So find the standard matrix for this mat mat matrices. Uh, linear transformation. It is R three to R four. Obviously, this R3 means uh, uh, this uh, standard matrix contains three rows, uh, three columns, and four rows. So the rank of T plus nullity of T in this case, rank of T plus nullity of T is equal to three. So addition of rank T and nullity T is three because dimension of domain is three. R3 dimension is three. So this is the function from T from R square to R raised to four. We define by this. We have to write the standard matrix. This is the standard matrix. It contains two columns and four rows. And so find rank and nullity. Obviously, what is the rank of t plus nullity of t is two. In this, for this example, rank of t plus nullity of t is two because the dimension uh, of R square is two. So similarly, uh, this is the linear transformation. A is given directly. A is given. Standard matrix is given. And we have to find the Kernel of t, null space of t, and nullity of t, and uh, rank of t. Okay, fourth number, right? Rank of t. So find kernel of t as a null space of the system, uh, matrix A, and a null space of t is the what? Null space of t means the uh, kernel of null space of t. It is not null space of t. Uh, range of t. Find kernel of t and range of t. Right here, range of t. Not null space of t. So find basis and dimension of kernel of t. So this is again R three to R three. So find the standard matrix and then find basis and dimension of kernel of t. So these are also the examples for homework. Find basis and kernel, basis for kernel and range of linear transformation. So these are the linear transformation. Their definitions are given. Write standard matrix and then find basis for range of t and kernel of t. So These are the examples. So these are the standard matrix are given. Find the basis for kernel of t. Find rank and nullity of t. Find the basis for range of t. Find basis for kernel of t. So standard matrix are given. So in the first matrix, in this uh, example, there are four columns. So this uh, rank of t, rank of t plus nullity of t for this first number example is two. So answers are given. This is these are the answers. So, in each part, find nullity of t. So these these are the examples for uh, MCQ type questions. T is from R five to R seven has rank three. So rank of t is three. So what is nullity of t? Rank of t plus nullity of t is equal to dimension of R is to five. That is rank of t plus nullity of t is equal to five. Rank of t is three. So nullity of t is what? Five minus rank of t. That is five minus three. That is two. So answer of uh, first question A question is nullity of this linear transformation is two. Similarly, 
this is p4 p4 what is the dimension of p4 is 5 the dimension of p4 is 5 and so rank of t plus nullity of t is equal to 5 and what is the and therefore nullity of t is what 5 minus rank of t that is 5 minus 1 that is answer is 4 answer of b is 4 because dimension of p4 is 5 it is not 4 because p4 what is the standard basis for p4 is 1 x x square 1 x x square x cube x raised to 4 that is is the set of all polynomials of degree less than or equal to 4 so what is the uh, standard basis for p4 1 x x square x cube x raised to 4 these are five elements so dimension of p4 is 5 and so rank of for this example number 2 rank of t plus nullity of t is equal to dimension of p4 that is 5 and therefore nullity of t is equal to 5 minus rank of t and rank of t is given 1 so answer of nullity of t is 4 then r is to 6 is the r is to 6 range of t range the range the range of t r is to 6 to r is to 3 is r cube r cube means what range of t means uh, dimension of uh, r t is r3 and therefore we have the rank of t is 3 and we have to find the nullity of t the range of t from r is to 6 to r is to 3 is r is to 3 that is the range of t is r is to 3 itself and therefore and the dimension of uh, uh, r is to 3 is a uh, 3 that is uh, the uh, that is the dimension of range of t is 3 means rank of rank of dimension of range of t is rank of t so rank of t is 3 we are given indirectly rank of t is 3 because the range of t is r is to 3 means rank of t is 3 and we have to find the nullity of t so rank of t plus nullity of t is equal to dimension of uh, r r is to 6 that is domain and r is to 6 has the dimension 3 and so nullity of t is uh, 3 Three my six uh, uh, minus three. That is three answer. The last problem. T from m two by two two to m two m two by two m two two m two two means what? M two by two R. It is the uh, vector space of all two by two matrices. This is vector space of all two by two matrices, and has rank three. And what is the di uh, dimension of m two by two? Is four. The dimension of m two by two is four. M two two is four. and so for this problem number d rank of t plus nullity of t is equal to dimension of m22 that is equal to 4 and so and the rank of t and therefore nullity of t is equal to 4 minus rank of t that is 4 minus 3 that is answer of nullity is 1 okay so solve all these problems these problems are also for use uh, useful for mcq type questions so we will see the remaining examples of rank of t and nullity of t in the next lecture